I think we really started to notice the problem about wet wipes was in about 2010, 2011, and there was a bit of a surge of wipes coming through into our treatment plants. It wasn't really until about 2014, 2015 that we started to see it as a really major problem. The first indication we'll get is we'll suddenly have three or four of our screens fail on the master control system. We send people down to look, we open the hatch and we we'll just see crap. They're just wipes and sewerage and this congealed fatty material all tangled around each other, tangled around the screen and the only way to deal with it is manually. So it's people with claws and rakes and shovels trying to get this stuff out. Get everything in there, mate. New Kleenex germ removal wet wipes. New wet ones antibacterial wipes. Great for removing dirt and sticky messes. Get old big and strong cleaning wipes. They're bigger than regular wipes. And 40% stronger. Now made from biodegradable fibres. In the tissue aisle now. Today we went down and had a look at some of the fat, oil and grease buildup that we see in our pipe network within the plant. Basically the fat, oil and grease in the system starts to clog up our pipe work slowly over time and it actually solidifies into something really hard and something really difficult to take out of a pipe. You can't just hose it off or anything, you need hand tools, you need a very high pressure jetting line. If you combine the fat oils and grease with the wet wipes, what you get is what everyone's colloquially calling a fatberg, a really entangled mess of plastics mortared together by the fat oils and grease. So it creates this rock hard material and then creates a real problem with blockages in the pipes. First time I, I came to a treatment plant and saw the, the problems that it was causing, it was this really disgusting looking mess. It really is quite gross. People might think that it's okay just to you know, pour a little bit of oil down their sink or to, you know, to flush a, a couple of wipes during the day, but when you've got five million people living in your city, collectively that causes a major problem. When we think about a fatberg, it's this image of an iceberg that's made out of fat. And unfortunately, it's not true that it'd be slightly easier to manage than what it is. It is wet wipes that have grouped together and then fat oil and grease has congealed around it to make it even worse and increase the size of the fatberg. Here at, at the Malabar plant, which is the biggest plant in our network, they're collecting six dry tonnes of wipes every single day. So that's a lot of wipes across a, a population of five million people. I've personally been involved in a Keep Wipes Out of Pipes campaign now for nearly four years and part of our tactics if you like were to form an association with Choice, the consumer group here in Australia and then in October 2016 Choice and Sydney Water made a submission to the ACCC about the legality of using the term flushable on their wet wipes products and there was specific action taken against two of the major Australian companies. That was heard at the federal court and uh, unfortunately... The consumer watchdog has lost its case against global giant Kimberly Clark after accusing it of causing an environmental catastrophe. The ruling has been slammed by consumer groups and water utilities. Now the ACCC has just recently appealed that decision so there'll be another federal court process that will actually look at whether or not companies can use the term flushable when it comes to wet wipes. Remember the three P's, P, poo and paper. Mm -hmm. If they were the only things that were going down the, the system, then yeah, wastewater treatment would be really easy and it'd be a much easier job for the guys and girls in the plants. Anything that is harder to tear than toilet paper shouldn't go down there. There is a flushable wet wipe, it's toilet paper. 